a beautiful day for some Cactus League baseball at Camelback Ranch as your world champion Los Angeles Dodgers host the Colorado Rockies. Hampson will lead off to play center field. Josh Fuentes at third. Greg Bird, the former Yankee. He had a great future, it would appear, but injuries kind of derailed him there. The record for him is how he started and how he finished. And, of course, the strikeouts. 100 strikeouts. Bauer waiting to deliver the payoff pitch to Garrett Hampson. And it's hit on the ground left side and through. That's a base hit. Right in between McKinstry, the shortstop, and Turner, the third baseman. His teammate, Nolan Arenado, is his cousin. He pops this pitch up back to second base, backpedaling in the outfield grass is Gavin Lux, and there's one out after he makes the catch, retiring Those Fuentes. numbers are what did it. This one spiked in the dirt, goes to the backstop and down to second. We'll go Garrett Hampson. Well, Bauer peeks at Hampson at second base, kicks, comes home, and the ball hit on the ground right side, playing in short right field is Gavin Lux. He gloves it and throws to first base. Bird is out, but that advances Hampson down to third base. One games in 2019 with the Pirates. This one is hit hard to left field. Backing up on it is Rayleigh, and in front of the track, he'll make the catch, and the side retired. Leading off for the Dodgers here this afternoon, and Muncie Turner. Will Smith will bat clean up. Matt Beatty and Andy Burns will do the facing Derek Rodriguez. Last year with the Giants at 16 starts. His first pitch is smacked toward left center field. That's going to get down. So Lux didn't waste any time taking the first pitch he saw, driving it to left for a base hit. Now gets to catch his son. Once he swings, hits this one in the air left. Getting a look at it is Sam Hilliard. Struggled a little bit with the sky, but managed to recover and make the catch. And back to first, Rodriguez pitch. And this one is hit in the air toward center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Gavin Lux advances. As Turner has got himself a hit. Turner off of first. And Will pops this one up. Shortstop Eric Stamets under it. He makes the catch. Turner are two men out. And he breaks his bat and it goes right into the glove of Greg Bird, the first baseman. Two men left, but a couple of base hits. Gavin Lux and Justin Turner. The first spring singles. We'll head to the second. Scoreless at Camelback Ranch. Curveball. He looked at it for strike three. Dropped in the deuce nicely. And Bowers got his first strikeout in a Dodger uniform. And the curveball cut on and missed. Strike three. Very efficient. Took him 10 pitches to get three consecutive outs. And Trevor Bauer through two innings. And really goes the opposite way to left center field. That's going to get down, split the outfielders. Really, he's going to chug around first. He's on his way to second. Here comes the throw. Head first slide beats it. And it is a one out double for Rayleigh. And the Dodgers with a man in scoring position. <laughs> but Kinstra takes a healthy cut, strikes out. So he goes down for the second out. 0 1 pitch. Curveball, he hammers it. Deep left. Hilliard going back. He looks up. He watches it go. A two run home run for DJ Peters. And the Dodgers on the board. This kid has got great power. We've seen it before. We've seen it numerous times in the month of March. Got a chance to get to the big leagues at some point in time, but he can swing. Guess everybody's worrying about football, so to have a player that comes out of that part of the country, you know their game. 2-2, two -two, grounded to the right side, backhanded by Bird. The underhand flip to the pitcher, Rodriguez covering, and Lux is out. Tony Gonsolin is a great man to have on a staff. Can do a lot of different things right, but because they barely have four at the Dodgers. Stamets swings and he drives this one toward left center field. Peters dives, makes the catch. A sensational grab. DJ Peters. What a play. Rockies got some news this week from their local authorities that they'll be able to have 12,500 people in attendance at Coors Field on opening day to see the Dodgers and Rockies. As Peters retires Hampson on a fly ball. Second round draft choice out of Vanderbilt University out of Lynn, Massachusetts. Large Ouch. to make it happen. Whoa. Big cut and a miss by Muncie. He goes down swinging. Teenage kids at home yet was living between San Diego and Anaheim as I recall. Oh, Smith 
Throws this one fair down the left side. And when you're out first base, on his way to second with a stand-up double. Good at bat right there for Will Smith. Get out in front of it a little bit. Kept it fair. Set. And the one-two pitch. This one is lifted in the air to right center. That's down for a hit. Smith around third. He'll score. It's a two-out RBI base hit for Matt Beatty. The Dodgers lead the Rockies 3-0. Beatty won that battle. Really nice approach here. Not too much. Pitch was down a little bit. And Burns lifts this one in the air to right center. And on the run is Daza. He'll make the catch. And the side retired. But the Dodgers add on. A double by Smith. Beatty gets him in with a two-out single. We'll go to the fourth inning. Dodgers three. Rockies nothing. First spring training appearance. 27 games last year. Three and one. Back in the form and, and to become dominant again. Fuentes goes down swinging. And a high cutter. For him to be on, everything has got to work in sync. If his release point is the least bit off, it's going to be a struggle. You saw a great, great release there on both those last two pitches. And it is a shot to first. It's about as close as you can get to an immaculate inning right there. Nine pitches, nine strikes, two strikeouts. And what a start for spring training for Kenley Jansen. No good swings. Couple days. Be great to see him. So Brian Gonzalez takes over, another left-hander. So a little bit of experience, Tom. Here's the pitch. And really a little bit late, swings and strikes out. And that's just such a benefit to this line. There's a ground ball up the middle and a base hit. McKinstry now one for two. A one out single for today's shortstop. He figured out how to play a lot of different places. And Peters just got under this one. He had some bad intentions to hit that one out, but the wind's got it, and it drops in. And safe at second is McKinstry. That's a tough play for any base runner. And again, not a lot of wind at game time. Seven miles an hour out of the north, so... Pitch, swung on, and hit through the right side, a base hit. McKinstry coming home, and the throw will be late. Down to second base, Lux, and he is safe. Just beat the throw from the catcher, Diaz. So a base hit, an RBI. Peters goes to third, and Lux takes second on the throw. Uh, most of those guys are here in camp anyway. And once he looks at one, that gets away from Diaz, and it's Peters coming in to score. 5-0 Dodgers. DJ Peters coming in on a wild pitch. Good read by Peters there. And Muncie grounds it to the right side. That'll get Lux probably home here as that was kicked by Rogers. Now Lux is going to stay, but that probably got away long enough for him to get home. But I think in the regular season he tries that. It's year 29 the year before. And he pulls one down the third baseline. It gets past Fuentes. Lux will score. Soto into third. And over to second base. Goes Ravello. Make show of spring training in the future. Smith bangs it through the drawn in infield. Soto scores. And Ravello will hold it third base. It's 7 0. I think there's a possibility. I think he can end the inning right there if he wants to. But Blackman doing that, and Gonzalez may not be on a 20-pitch limit. And Burns hits this one in the gap to left center. Extra bases for Burns. Ravello comes in. Will Smith will score. And a two-out, two-run double for Andy Burns. Leading it 9-0, and Ian Clarkin has to be the... Just in case guy this inning. 3-2 pitch, and Estevez takes low and away. Ball four. Ian Clarkin, the Rockies pitcher, delivers a curveball that is fisted on the infield. It is grabbed by Rogers, the second baseman. He'll step on the bag, get the out. But the Dodgers strike for a bunch. Six runs in the fourth inning. Blake Trinan now takes over. He gets his first spring appearance. Mike Rizzo, the GM at the time, gave the nod to Trinan. That was before he went to the A's, and he ends up walking Rodgers here. So here comes Blake's 
And Joe hits it in the air toward right. Off the end of the bat, it'll drop for a hit. Soto quickly flips it into second base and holds Rogers there. So two on and one out. Daza skies this one foul, first base side. Rangel Ravello makes the catch, infield fly. Don't expect to see Victor Gonzalez pitch today for the Dodgers. A swing and a miss and a good breaking ball. They tried and took just the right amount off of that, and Stamos was way out front. Another lefty out of the Rockies bullpen. 14 starts two years ago in the minor leagues. Getting ready to deal this pitch. And this one's ripped to left field. That's a base hit. Andy, before getting a major league opportunity last year with the Angels. He swings and hits this one up in the air. Shallow right center. And that one's going to be taken in. Two thousand nineteen was with Grand Junction in single A. And the force out at second base ends the inning. Getting a chance to debut and in fifteen memorable games, he went three and zero with an ERA of just one point three three. Nothing to write home about. The next thing you know, this guy's hitting thirty five home runs back to back years and he's a big off. October performer. Huge patience. In the center field. And one down. Wow. Trejo, the new shortstop for the Rockies. It's this one in the air toward right field. And our two men out. As Andy Page pulls that one in. Figured out. Bird bouncing one to the right side. And that'll be a really nice, tidy inning for Victor Gonzalez. Well done. Three up and three down. And a veteran backup catcher. He has been here before. And he takes a healthy swing at this one. But ends up in the glove of the center fielder. And the 3 2. He is hit on the ground to the right side. And Greg Bird, the first baseman, will handle it. No, I'm sorry, that's Connor Joe. He's come out of the. Yeah, that one's way up and in, and he walks. He had to duck hard to get out of the way. So Bush is down to first base. Second time up for Estevez. He swings at the first pitch and drives it to right center deep. This ball heading back, and this ball is off the wall. So Bush around second into third, and there is Estevez into second base with a two out double. And Bush comes in. You know, Estevez is ecstatic that they played another half inning. Well, Double A Tulsa had nine that year. And pops this one up, shallow center. And uh, way drifting. That wind really picked up, I guess, Ned. And that is the end of this half inning. So Rex is out. Dodgers do manage a run on a double by Estevez, scoring Michael Bush. Looks like we are finished for the afternoon after six full innings. And the Dodgers with a 10 to nothing lead. And now a 10 nothing win.